everyone. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. The next piece in my closet is a Halloween costume of my five-year-old daughters. So I thought I would go ahead and just pair it with a cute little black sweater of hers, as well as some of her fantabulous purple lipstick. Today's story is called The Poor Country Boy and the Cat. In a deserted mill lived an old cat who thought she was mistress there. One day a country lad wandered up to the mill. The cat arched her back and hissed, go away, this is my mill. The boy looked her up and down and said, kitty cat dear, what use to you is a mill? Come, let us exchange our worldly goods. I shall give you my magic spectacles. Whatever you look at, they make it twice as big. The cat tried on the glasses and indeed it was so. A little mouse which ran by was twice its size. Very well, said the cat. If you give me your bundle of oat cakes as well, then you may have my mill. The lad agreed and the cat took the glasses and the bundle and set out into the world. After a while, she met a wolf. I shall eat you up, he cried, but the cat was not afraid. Take a good look at me first, she said, putting the glasses on his nose. The wolf took one look and ran off in terror, his tail between his legs. Never before had he seen such a huge cat. The cat just managed to take the glasses back again. Now she really puffed herself up with pride. I am the tr strongest creature in the world, she sang. And she went back to the mill and told the country lad to give it back to her or she would swallow him up. Just take a good look at me, she meowed, boldly setting the glasses on the lad's nose. The boy smiled contently and gave the cat a good clout. That is for your foolishness and vanity, he said. And so the proud cat lost everything she had. I hope you enjoyed story time for today. Uh, I think I'm going to start decorating this lovely wall behind me uh, for future story times and just continue this out uh, for the rest of the school year and who knows, uh, maybe into the summer. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you again tomorrow.